into. And now the Blazers are struggling a little bit without their offensive leader. They would like to have Martell Webster step up and hit some jumpers. That's just a second field goal of the game. Fingernail. See right there, they were trying to go to Martell Webster again off an Aldridge pick. Crossover move by Webster. Baseline jumper, a tough shot over Miles, and he puts it down. So maybe Martell can heat up and be that. Board comes up looking like Jerry West. Wow. Martell again. Oh, Foul. yeah. Oh, Jerry yeah. Brown gets that down. So Please. this now Utah's largest lead of the night. They go to Webster to for a three to get him back. He hits again. And Martell is starting to get the crowd involved as he answers Williams three and it's a four. He had 20 points in their last game. Win over Philly on Wednesday. Utah's been off and rested. Martell for three again. And CJ Miles is being schooled by some real nice picks. Boy, he stepped in bounds on that. In the third quarter. There's those two picks again, and here they come again for Martell Webster. You're not supposed to be able to impede the progress of a cutter. Webster laid out by Corver. Three free throws coming as Webster. They start using this offense a little. If the Blazers would like to make it 16 of their last 17. At his mother-in-law's funeral in North Carolina. And three free throws for Webster in the three. You got to watch LaMarcus Aldridge now. He's going to be open underneath. Blake leaves it for Webster. Martell step back to. Oh, <laughs> six for six in the quarter. You got to have a bestest gloves to touch that guy. He's that hot. Or lower back at all. Webster again for three. No! You oh, have got to be kidding me. You can't stop him even with that lousy 2 3 zone that Jerry Sloan just threw up. Martel Webster is 7 for 7 in the quarter. Team for the shot clock. Martel going to show you a little post up game now. The help comes from Harpering, and Martel is fouled. The aggressive player now starting to get a few calls. Eight player. So, uh,. Mark, I don't think Utah will leave Martell Webster. Nice job of getting out to Harpering in that zone. Webster <laughs> takes it inside and then takes a look at Jared <laughs> Collins after the play. An award, an honor, if you will, as well. See, and he is really focused in now on to run by picks right there. Nice move off the dribble. For Portland, and there's still 7.03 to go in the quarter. C.J. Miles going out of the game. Kyle Korver coming in, and as I said, he is an underrated defender. He'll get right in the state of Portland <laughs> or the city. One of those two. Yeah, we know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. In Roy's absence, five for five shooting in the quarter, 12 points and three free throws coming. It shows you the diversity of Nate McMillan's offense when you lose a penetrating score. Now he sets up double picks all over the place for a the first bucket he's made this half that hasn't come off a of Blake assist. Look the bench, loving that. Have not turned the ball over yet here in the quarter. That is some. But Martell Webster having the biggest quarter of his young career with 20 points. Yeah, Martell, his big game of the year was against Utah earlier in the year when he had 25. Now he's got it on radar. And Utah just doesn't believe it, and he keeps banging them from the perimeter. And you want to get two more here. Sergio Rodriguez set to check in for the Trailblazers. Yeah, they have price for Webster. His, his waist was even with the basket. If that goes in, they got to put that on a highlights ESPN Sports Center. Ultimately, he is not focused on the foul line. He'll miss the first, make well, the he second. Was. I thought you were exaggerating. He was just about. Ronnie Price ends up with a long two. That's off Webster. Fittingly, grabs the rebound to end the third, and the sellout crowd is rising to its feet. Look at Marcel Webster, the bench out to congratulate him. He takes a bow, heading to the timeout. 24 in the corner for Webster, who 